new image tonight. It shows a private jet right there in the circle in front of a jet blue plane that was landing at Logan Airport. Now, this close call back in February prompted a federal investigation. Tonight, the final report is out. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa is live at Logan with expert reaction to this report. Tammy. Well, Chris, that close call here at Logan Airport happened after concerns about a series of other close calls in the sky. And now we're seeing it firsthand in this new NTSB report. A very scary picture in a final NTSB report showing just how close two planes came to colliding at Logan Airport in February. This picture is from the view of a JetBlue flight that was moments from landing. Right in front of the plane, you can see a private jet crossing on the runway at the same time. I think it was a screw up. Uh, Humans in the system will make errors occasionally. The NTSB report says the smaller private jet got permission to line up and wait before the intersecting runway. But instead, the private jet's flight crew started taking off without clearance, causing the close call. At the time, WBZ spoke with a passenger on the JetBlue flight. You do sit there and say, oh my gosh, like, you know, I mean, I got a 13 year old, I got a 15 year old, I'm married, like, how close did I come to, to not seeing them again? NTSB investigators say a detection system alerted the control tower that something wasn't right, so a go around was issued in time. Experts like MIT aeronautics professor John Hansman say that's how important that detection system is. And we designed the system in order to have levels of redundancy and support to catch those errors. So I actually think this is an example of the system working like it was supposed to. Luckily, no one was hurt in that incident. Now, the NTSB has acknowledged the need to invest in more aviation safety technology like that system right here at Logan Airport. Live at Logan Airport, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News.